Imagine if 24-7 clean energy didn't come from vast solar deserts, but from bright orange shipping containers quietly humming at the edge of town. Each one generating power from sunlight, stores it for night, and feeding it back to the grid, without panels or lithium batteries. That's the vision behind ExoWatt's P3 modules. Let's unpack what's real, what's hype, and why this box could power the AI age. AI data centers run non-stop. They don't wait for wind or sun. They need electricity every second. A single chat GPT query uses 10 times the energy of a Google search, and global AI demand could hit 9% of total electricity use by 2035. Intermittent renewables can't handle that alone. The future grid needs clean power that's always on, fast to deploy, and stable in price. At first glance, ExoWatt's P3 looks like an ordinary 40-foot shipping container. But inside, it's a miniature power plant, one that turns sunlight into heat, heat into motion, and motion into electricity. On top sits a Fresnel lens, the same optical design once used in old lighthouse lamps. It slowly follows the sun across the sky, concentrating its light into a narrow beam, like holding a magnifying glass but scaled up to industrial size. That beam doesn't hit a solar panel. Instead, it's directed into a sealed core filled with ceramic and clay bricks. These dense blocks act as a thermal battery, soaking up sunlight until they glow at around 1,000 degrees Celsius. There are no chemicals, no lithium cells, just stored heat, waiting to be used. When power is needed, air is pushed through the hot bricks. The air expands from the heat and drives a Stirling engine, an elegantly simple machine that spins a generator and produces electricity on demand. Each container delivers roughly 25 kilowatts, enough to power several homes. And because the design is modular, you can line up dozens or hundreds of these units for megawatt scale output. No sprawling solar fields, no battery warehouses. Just a clean energy box you can drop in, connect, and let the sun do the rest. Why it matters? Well, solar and wind are cheap, but not constant. Batteries help for a few hours, nights last longer. Thermal storage bridges that gap. Bricks don't degrade, and their heat can last decades. Steel, glass, ceramics, simple, recyclable, globally available. And because generation, storage, and dispatch are inside one box, there's no need for sprawling infrastructure. Even land use improves. Solar panels require wide spacing to avoid shading, while container farms can sit closer together. For industrial parks or data centers, that's compact, continuous, clean energy. Yes, Stirling systems convert only 15 to 18% of sunlight into electricity, but efficiency isn't the goal. Affordable reliability is. Here's the breakdown. Light to heat, 60 to 70%. Heat to power, 21 to 30%. Total system, 15 to 18%. Exawatt keeps costs low by using single axis tracking instead of complex multi-axis mounts, building with common materials, factory producing and trucking modules instead of field assembly, and removing the need for separate batteries. So where does this actually fit in? First, AI and data campuses, energy-hungry facilities that run non-stop. They need reliable power close by, and modular exawatt units could sit right beside them, delivering clean electricity around the clock. Then, industrial sites that need both heat and power, the system's hot air output can feed processes like drying, refining, or manufacturing, all without burning fossil fuels. Mining camps, islands, or defense bases too far from main power lines. Instead of diesel, they can just drop in containers and go live in days. And finally, solar curtailment zones, regions that waste excess noon energy. Wherever power must be clean, constant, and local, ExoWatt's bright orange boxes could quietly take over. ExoWatt's advantage is modularity, but producing thousands still requires precision and QA. Still, it's promising. 
The grid needs power that's both always on and fast to field. This is one of the few ideas that could check both boxes. Honestly, I believe the future of energy won't hinge on one miracle technology or a single massive power plant. It'll be a network of solutions. Solar, wind, geothermal, and new systems like ExoWatt, each doing its part where it works best. Instead of one towering facility, imagine thousands of bright orange containers rolling off trucks, plugging in near towns, factories, and data hubs, quietly converting sunlight into steady, usable power. You might never notice them, just fewer blackouts, stable prices, and cities powered without building another gas plant. Maybe the future of solar won't shine from rooftops. Maybe it'll arrive on wheels, one container at a time. This was iTech. Until next time, keep an eye on the shift. It's already begun.